Hey Favorite Kids, my name is Belle and I am so thankful that you're online joining us today. Welcome to Favorite Kids and I want you to do a couple of things for me. The first thing that I want you to do is tell your friends about how much fun you have while watching Favorite Kids online. We got all kinds of surprises and another thing I want you to do is you subscribe right here, click right here and subscribe to Favorite Kids YouTube channel that you don't miss any of the fun things that are happening. We have special surprises all the time and you don't want to miss it. When you subscribe, it will let you know when we drop something brand new. Well, are you ready for today? We've got some super fun surprise planned just for you. And I am so excited. So get ready, get a yum snack, and get ready for Favorite Kids Online. Welcome to Live to Give, where we get to learn how to live generously. Hey, who's ready to live to give? Hey kids, I know you've been looking for Miss Glitter Splendid. Hmm, me too. She should be here this time. Oh, hey Peggy, sorry I'm late. Hey, kids! Hey, wait a minute! What's that? Oh, well, I was super hungry, so I stopped at McDonald's and I got my favorite McNugget! Ooh, I love McNuggets! Me too, that's exactly how I feel about my McNuggets. Oh, I wish I could have McNuggets right now. Me too, that's why I brought my McNuggets here, so I could eat it. No. Maybe I could have just one McNugget? Whoa, whoa, I'm sorry. You mean you want one of my McNuggets? Yeah. Well, Piggy, there's just one problem. And I mean, really one problem because there's only one nugget left. <laughs> Can you just share it with me, please? Okay, you know what? We've been learning a lot about generosity especially in this series, Live to Give. Even though I only have one nugget left, I'm gonna share it with you. Thank you, Mary, you are so generous. Here you go. That was so good. Thank you so much for giving me the last chicken nugget. You are a true friend. You're welcome, Piggy. In fact, I'm actually glad you asked for my last chicken nugget because it reminds me of today's Bible story. Really? It does? Well, what is it? Okay, so literally today's Bible story is about this guy named Elijah and there was this lady and she had this much food and guess what? She gave it all to Elijah. Wow, that is so amazing. I know, but it gets even crazier, Piggy, because she gave her last little bit. God gave her even more. Wow, that reminds me of today's big, big, big idea. Really? So wait, what is today's big idea? When I give, God gives even more. That's amazing, Piggy. I think we can do a motion for today's big idea. All right, kids, let's practice. Stand up on your feet. Wait, Piggy, do you see that kid sitting all the way down there? I do! Hey, let's stand up! That's right. Here we go. Let's do it together. You ready? When I give, God gives even more. Wait, I just had a great idea, okay? I think at the end of it, you should do the sparkly hands because it goes well with your jacket. So just like sparkly fingers? Yeah, just like that. Okay, are you ready kids? I'm going to count on three and let's do it together. You ready? Ready. One, two, three. When I give, God gives even more. Wow. That was so much fun, Teacher Mary! Thank you so much for that nugget and thank you for teaching us the big idea! 
to you today. Wait, 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 did you hear that? I sure did. Wait, do we have a doorbell in here? I think so. Wait, are we supposed to let somebody in? I think so. Uh, I can't wait to see who it is. Come in. Come in, we're in. Hello, is there Miss Glitter Splendid, AKA Mary here? That's my name. Wait a second. What is this? Wait, congratulations. You have won McNugget delivery for one whole year. What? what? Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness, this is the best day of my life. Thank you so much. My pleasure. <gasps> Hand those over. <laughs> wow, those look good. Open it. Open it. Open it. Open it. Piggy, remember the big idea we just talked about? I sure do. I think we should say it one more time. Let's Are you ready? do it. All right, kids, let's say this really loud. Here we go. When I give, God give even more. Woo! Well, kids, we'll see you again later because it's time for praise and worship. And I'm so excited. So stay. to worship God today because I am so excited as we're going to declare and see how He's able to do miracles. Come on, let's stand up on your feet and let's worship Him. And if you have any prayer requests, just go to your mom or your dad and ask them to pray with you. Come on, let's sing this song. The one who made the blind to see
Hi guys, my name is Ian. And my name is RJ. And today, we're going to be playing a game called... What's Behind the Mask. The mask, the mask, the mask. Guys, it's just easy to play. We're going to be sending photos to your screen. And all you have to do is just guess of what's behind the mask. Let's bring out the first photo. Who, who is it? Oh, is that, is that Piggy and Glitter Splendor? That indeed is. It is. Somebody okay, you guess for Piggy, I'm gonna guess for Mary. Three, two, one, smiling! smiling. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Yeah! Okay, let's bring a picture number two, toi, dos. Alright, who is that? Ooh. Ooh, I, I think we've been moving with this person ever since. Yeah, I think we had a segment mm -hmm. called Move mm -hmm. with, with Albie! Hey, kids! Kids, what do you think? Is Teacher Albie smiling? Or not smiling. I think he's. I think Teacher Albie always does this. So, mm -hmm. three, two, one, smiling! smiling! Woo! Okay, let's bring up picture number three. Tres, Tres pictures. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Is it P -P Paul? Yeah. It is Paul. Kids, what do you guys think? Is Teacher Paul, I mean, Pastor Paul, smiling or not smiling? Three, two, one, not, not smiling! smiling. Oh. 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 Why you gotta be smiling, Paul? Why you gotta be smiling? He got us, it's the they eyebrows. They got us, they it's got the us. Eyebrows. It's the eyebrows. Time to bring out picture number four. Okay, <laughs> obviously because I'm here, I cannot answer, but... What do you think, Mr. RJ? Well, you're a generally very happy person, sir. So I say smiling! Boom! I don't know what you're doing. Is that smiling? Oh, is that smiling or not? I think that's smiling. <laughs> that's, smiling. that's smiling. Kids, did you guys get that? Time to bring out picture number, number cinco. Oh, I think this person just recently got married. Oh. Mm -hmm. Do you think he's smiling though? Um, I, I gotta phone a friend for this one. Kids, what do you guys think? Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Because. I don't know. Okay. We oh, gotta guess now. Okay. Three, two, two one. one. Not, not smiling. smiling. Oh! She just got married. That's why she happy. She happy. She I don't understand smiling. why this game is so hard. But just... kids, we hope that you guys are just like making this because we are failing. We are failing miserably. Okay. Picture number six. Saiz. Pastor Kit. Pastor Kit. Shout out Pastor, Pastor Kit. Hello. Kaitlin. Kaitlin. Is she smiling if I know Pastor Kit? And I think you know. Three, two, <laughs> one. Smiling! <laughs> this is one of the most mm -hmm. handsome people. Yes, I can agree 100%. He's friends with me. Friends with me. Yes. Very easy. Very yes, easy. Very easy. Children, what do you think? You have to get this one. Okay, three, two, one. He's smiling. Oh, I missed my lunch. I missed my lunch. Didn't have lunch yet. Didn't have lunch yet. One of the rare times I wasn't smiling. Didn't have lunch yet. Waiting for delivery, guy. I, I, I'm, I'm in shock, my brother. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> for picture number eight, uh, it's obviously our big boss. Yes. Bell he wrong. Yes. Um and um. So, in the brows. kids, you have to tell us whether Pastor Bell is smiling, smiling or not. Smiling. You know, you know Pastor Bell well. Yeah, obviously she's three, two, one, smiling. What? Ah! What? What? You gotta be always smiling, Pastor Bell. The kids are watching. The kids are watching. The kids are watching. Why are you sad? Picture number nine. Nueve. Nueve. My guess is not is smiling. I'm gonna go opposite with this one. I know Miko, he's always smiling. He's a happy person. Three, two, two one. one. Not smiling. I have no <laughs> idea what that is. <laughs> what is that? Oh, oh not, not smiling. smiling. Split that picture and he's smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Last photo. Everybody in church knows this man. Yes. James Aiton. Yes, our pastor. Pastor, our pastor James. the big boss. What's up, sir? Yeah. Do you think Pastor James is smiling or not smiling? Yes. Kids, you gotta tell us whether he's smiling or not. But in my opinion, three, two, one, he's smiling! smiling! Yes! yes! That was such a fun, yes, fun, fun, fun day. Fun. Wow, wow. Obviously, we had a lot of mistakes, but. It doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. Good. All you gotta do is always smile. And we'll see you next week for game time. Oh, and if you had fun, take a picture, whether you're smiling or not smiling. 
Post it on Instagram at Favorite App Kids and let us know. Let us know. Okay. We had so much fun with you guys. Bye bye. We love you. Ooh. Hey kids, happy Legacy Sunday. Is your piggy bank ready for Legacy Sunday? Don't forget to give it to your parents so they can bring it in church today. But if you forgot, don't worry, you can still give it next Sunday. Or if you don't have piggy bank but you're saving up and you want to give it our legacy offering, go ahead and ask your parents to go to gift.favor.church slash legacy or scan this QR code to give. All right, kids, are you ready for God's Word? It's time to take a look at what God's Word says about our big idea. And our big idea for this week is when I give, God gives even more. And we're going to look at a story. What's this, kids? That's right. It's a Bible. And in 1 Kings chapter 17. Okay, and it's about a prophet by the name of Elijah. Kids, can you say that again? Elijah. In a story that teaches us and shows us that when we are willing to give, then God says, don't worry, I'll take care of you and I'm going to give back to you even more. Now, Elijah was a prophet. That means he was a messenger of God. He would go around telling people what God is saying to them. And as he went around, sometimes people would help him out. And there this one lady who lived in the village where Elijah and her son would sometimes help Elijah. Well, listen to what is happening in this story. She has basically run out of everything. But Elijah comes and the first thing he says is, Would you bring me a little water in a cup? Well, she was going to get the water. And as she went, he says, Oh, and also, would you bring me a bite of bread? Well, at this point, the lady, she looks to Elijah and she said, Hmm, you don't understand. She says, I don't have a single piece of bread left in the house. In fact, I just have, you know, a little flour and a little oil. And my son and I are starving. Literally, we have nothing else. And she told Elijah, and this is really sad, kids. She said, actually, we were about to do before you came was we were going to make a fire. We were going to make some bread. We were going to eat it. And then we were going to die. That's pretty sad. And that means that she really didn't have anything. And this is what Elijah said. Seems like the meanest thing in the world, he said. Oh, okay, well you go ahead, but actually, why don't you first make sure you give me that bread? And she looked at him like, are you kidding me? But Elijah said, no, I'm serious. This is what he told her. If you will do that, you will not run out. It's so, so amazing. He said, don't be afraid and do what I've said. Make a little bread for me first and then use what's left to prepare a meal for you and your son. Now, she's just told him, I only have enough to make a little bit for me and my son. And then he says this, there will always be flour and olive oil left in your containers until the time when the Lord sends rain again. And guess what? She did exactly what Elijah said and she had all that she needed. In fact, it says this in verse 16, There was always enough flour and olive oil left in the containers just as the Lord had promised through Elijah. Kids, that's amazing. But look at what happened. Elijah had a need. He was hungry. Now, this lady and her son, they had a need too. They were hungry. But when they trusted God and said, Okay, we are going to give, God said, Don't worry. I'll take care of you. I'm going to give you back even more. God kept filling back their containers over and over and over with flour and oil. It's absolutely amazing. Now, I want to tell you kind of what that looks like. I have this, you know, I have this container right here. Of, oh, oh, pass it, pass it. Ooh, perfect, oh. you have water. Can I have some water? Because I'm really thirsty. Oh, well, actually, RJ, 
you just caught me right in the middle of Bible lesson. Oh, hi. Well, RJ, sorry, I need this water. Well, I'm really sorry, but I really, really need the water because I'm really, really, really thirsty. Like, we need Okay, okay, okay. All right. Well, I guess we can do it, you know, some other time. So, I think I can give it to you. Okay. 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 Welcome, RJ. Great. So I was saying I want to show you some things with this water here, but you know, RJ came and he took the last water I had. So I guess we could do it another time sometimes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um. Anyway, Jill, thank okay. you for the water, mm -hmm. but can I have some more? Cause I'm thirsty again. Okay. Kind of want more water. Okay, sure. Let's see if I still have some. But remember, this is the last one that I had. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, let's see. Oh, more water. Mm. Alright, thank you. Okay, well, I know I've given him all the water that I have now. Um, But I really don't know what I was going to show you. I forgot. God, because RJ was interacting, but I was gonna show you that. Whoa, um, I'm back. I'm sorry. I kind of spilled the water all over the place, and um, I was kind of wondering if you have more water, but definitely the last time. I promise. I promise. Yeah. Okay, 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 wait, wait. Oh, you, you mean that you just spilled all the water? Yeah, I'm sorry, I just spilled it. I was, I was running a, a trip over the like, I guess I could, I guess I could check to make sure if I still have water. Sweet! Come on! <laughs> oh, that's a lot of water! Wait! Oh. Okay, bye! Bye, Take it, bye RJ! Kids, I don't know what we're gonna do with RJ. Like, that is crazy. Wait, wait! Um. <laughs> so, um, can you? Oh, wait, you cannot still be thirsty. Okay, yeah. like, wait, wait, wait. You were just standing here mm -hmm. and you take all the water that I, that I have. Kids saw you. Kids saw you that all the water came out of the pitcher. There's nothing left. Well, you know, I, I think we should try just one more time. Just, you okay. know, please. All right, hold it up. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Ooh. There's more, but none of it made it into my cup. Okay, all right. Well, kids, that's amazing. I mean, I kept pouring out. Stop thirsty. <laughs> kept pouring out, and it, you know, it keeps keeps on filling up again and again. I'm cold at first. And exactly like what happened in the story in the widow and her son. Are you okay, RJ? I'm so thirsty. It teaches us that you're mm -hmm. always. All you're all wet, first of all. Yeah. But it teaches us that we can always trust God that even when we don't think we have much, we can trust Him that He will take what we have and will use it and then will keep giving us up more and more. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that amazing? Yes, so amazing. I'm just gonna go because I'm cold. Okay, bye. <laughs> All right, kids, remember our big idea that when we give, God gives even more. Well, thank you, Teacher Bell, for that wonderful story. Hey, you know what, Piggy? Our Bible story today reminds me of our big idea. Let's say it again. All right, kids, here we go. When I give, when I give, God, God gives even more. Gives even more. Great job. Hey Piggy, are you hungry? Because it's time for snacks for Piggy. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, Piggy, I know you're excited for this, but before I give it to you, I have some questions for you to answer. You ready? Let's do this. All right, question number one. What's one thing you learned from the message today? Ooh, that's easy. I learned that when we give, what we have to God, God gives even more. That's right, Piggy. All right, you can have this lollipop. Nom, 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 nom. 
All right, Piggy, great job. You ready for question number two? Let's do this. All right, what miracles are you praying for? Hmm, to be honest, mm -hmm. all I'm praying for is just for this pandemic to end Aww. and for us to find a cure to this virus so that I can finally roam free in the farmlands and swim in the mud and Aww. just enjoy again with my family. Piggy, that is a great answer and I think you deserve a treat. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. You know, for me, the miracle I'm praying for is that everyone who's sick right now in the hospitals will be healed. God is our healer, so he can do it. Don't you agree? That's so nice of you, Teacher Mary. <laughs> Thanks, Piggy. All right, kids, that's it for today. Right now, we're going to have some discussion questions that pop up that you can discuss with your parents. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye! Kids, that was so much fun. I hope you had such a great Sunday or Monday or Friday or Saturday or whatever day you just watched this favorite kids experience. I am so glad that you did. And we want you to do a couple of things. We want you to subscribe here on our YouTube channel so that you get all the fun favorite kids video. And we want you to tell all your friends about it. In fact, you could even get your parents to share you can see the share button here on social media so that they could tell all your friends about it we love you and god has big plans for your life and we can't wait to see you next time